Talking Timber Outdoors, I want to cover my experiences between really cheap glasses for fishing specifically and um, more expensive glasses. So what you're going to expect and what you should hope to expect from nicer glasses. So just like anybody else, I love fishing a lot and therefore I go through glasses very frequently. Now, I've gone to Walmart, Kmart, uh, big box stores, and I've purchased those glasses like Yum or some of those other Berkeley glasses. And do they work? Are they polarized? Yes, on a budget, they will work just fine. What you do sacrifice, in my opinion, are build quality as well as um, lens quality and comfort. To me, the most important thing to me about glasses is going to be the comfort level because if you're going to wear them for an extended period of time, I get pain behind my ears and on my head if I'm wearing a cheap pair of glasses. Now, can I take them off or can I wear those little um, wraparounds that help? Absolutely. But one of the biggest things you can do is bump yourself up from a $7 pair of glasses to say like a, a $30 pair of glasses. Now, these were a gift and I love utilizing them, but what I like doing the most is I, I like taking a, a decent pair of glasses if I can afford to and getting multiple lenses. On this one, these are not interchangeable, just like they aren't with the cheaper pairs, but you can afford to buy two pairs of glasses, maybe a, um, a, you know, a gray and a yellow, or better yet, an amber, and I'm actually finding some yellow, yellow lenses actually work pretty well for, uh, for kind of overcast conditions, but um, getting a pair of amber lenses is typically, if you, get, if you have one pair of glasses, I like amber, um, but it doesn't mean that you know, blues or whatever the, the company's proprietary colors are won't work. Now, the biggest biggest difference between going from a, a thirty, forty, fifty dollar pair of glasses to say a ninety or one hundred and ten dollar pair of glasses um, is well, typically you're going to receive some form of case, okay, to protect them, um, and you're going to start to either, instead of going from like polycarbonate or some kind of um, plastic material, you're going to start to go to actual glass, um, as well as the build quality and comfort level increase. Um, these, this is a pair from, um, from Nines. Uh, this is the, like they have a, this is my yellow lens. Um, I won't put them on because I think I look a little silly in this frame, but um, rubberized texture on the inside and on the outside here, uh, as well as on the underside. Contoured a little better when compared to some of the other lenses or the other glasses. Um, the uh, housings for the hinges are are much better quality. Um, I like these. I have a pair of cassette also. Um, and one thing is is also is that glass is much less prone to scratching than say polycarbonate is, or some of the other plastics that are used. Um, I think the polarization is better. You get less. Uh, um, your color suffers less, um, your sharpness is nice, um, but at the same time, you're paying a lot more money, okay? Now, you know, full disclosure, I did not pay for these. Um, I've only used these once, uh, but I've used my cassette a ton, and I can wear those all day without any issue. Um, I don't have a hoop and coat or anything like that. I just like the glasses, and I like the fact that they give back. So like every pair of glasses you buy, they send a pair of reading glasses to somebody in need, which is very nice. Um, but so every time you step up in in price bumps, you get, for example, when you buy Costas, you're gonna get a really comfortable pair of glasses that will last you a while, and um, that have a nice build quality. Okay, as you can tell, these frames are 100% plastic. You know, um, it's a nice plastic, but uh, and I can already see that, like, I, you know, I wear these glasses a lot too, but I definitely have some damage to the lenses, and I've never once dropped these. So, just from idle wear. My suggestion, if you fish a lot, instead of buying a few pair of really expensive ones, go with a nice intermediate level pair of glasses and buy different lenses or an interchangeable lens kit. And um, also, I always keep, I always have a, 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 an extra really cheap pair of glasses in my car, one in case a buddy forgets one. 
um, or in case I do something stupid or I forget my glasses. I always have a pair in the car. Typically my glasses will stay in my car because I have a, a spot in my trunk for them um, to protect them. But that's beside the point. I would go with whatever you can afford. If you want one pair of glasses, amber lenses, nice pair, as high as you can afford. I understand budgets are issues. Um, if you want multiple pairs of glasses, go intermediate and get a couple different lenses. Find a pair that's comfortable to you because you're not going to wear them if they're not comfortable. And polarized glasses, a good pair of polarized glasses is, in my opinion, one of the best tools you can have in your tool belt. So hopefully that helps when searching or looking for glasses. If you have any recommendations, put them in the comments below. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, I will always be uh, willing to help out if I can. So hopefully that was informative. Give it a thumbs up, like the video, share with friends and family. Check out the other videos in the playlist. And until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.